Now that we have our design, our database and our workflow, let's test our app. So in order to preview your app, uh, when you create an app, you automatically have a development and live uh, version of your app. So right now we are in the development uh, version of our app and to preview it, you just click on preview. So um, there are obviously uh, a few design issues. Uh, everything is not aligned with the left, these elements are not together. But for now, we are going to focus on the workflow and we'll fix uh, the design issues later. Um, I wanted to show you uh, something called the debugger. Uh, it is very useful uh, to test your app and to see what works or what doesn't work. What I suggest you to use is the step-by-step -step debugger. So click on it and just test your workflow uh, as you would normally do it. So I'm going to use my email address. Okay, gmail.com and I click on join now. And I'm going to put myself somewhere else. Uh, and here you can see your workflow in action. So we see button, button join now is clicked. It will show the sign up login. So let's click on run next uh, again. Okay, we have our sign up pop up. So that's a good thing. Uh, what I notice here is that it does not pick up uh, the email address I just entered before. So it's a little bit frustrating. Uh, so let's um, write it down. So we'll need to fix that uh, later. So the user would uh, put his other information. So let's use a suggested password. No, thank you. Uh, okay, let's still. Okay, let's, sorry. Let's uh, save my password. Okay, and now let's click on sign up. Uh, the step-by-step -step debugger uh, still shows up. So we have clicked on the button sign up. It was our second uh, trigger. Uh, let's click on run next. We are going to sign the user up and you can see here that it catches uh, the user email and it catches the password to run next. It will make changes to the user. So we can see here that it will change the current user and it will give the first name and the last name. That sounds good. Uh, click on run next and it will send an email to my user uh, with a copy to myself. And we can see the sender name and the body. And the body is correct. It has uh, dynamically uh, inserted the first name. And let's run next. It should hide the sign up login pop ups. Let's, see. let's click on run next. And we are good. So uh, we noticed in the debugger that it seemed to be OK. But now let's check that the database has been uh, properly updated and that we have received our email. Uh, so, first, data. So, to check your data, you should go in data and click on app data. And if it is not refreshed, here it is refreshed, but if it is not refreshed, you can click on refresh data. And we have just created our first uh, user dynamically. So yay, that's great. Uh, and there is everything we wanted, the email, the first name, and the last name. That's great. Uh, let's see if we received the email. So great, so I received the, the copy. So it was sent to uh, the user and to myself and I have the right uh, body. So from a workflow point of view, it worked uh, very nicely.